In this video, we propose Shift, a pointing technique that allows users to operate a pen-based user interface with their fingers. Sometimes retrieving the stylus of a pen-based device is not possible or not convenient. Especially for short interactions, retrieving the pen can take too long. So in these cases, users tend to operate their devices using their bare fingers instead. Unfortunately, user interfaces designed for pen use often contain small targets. The user's finger occludes small targets, forcing target acquisition to be done without any visual feedback. This makes selection error-prone. The offset cursor technique by Potter, Weldon, and Schneiderman addresses the occlusion problem by making the pointer offset from the finger's contact point. Unfortunately, offset cursor has no visual feedback until the user touches the screen. Users are forced to estimate the offset position and then iterate towards the target, which affects performance. Offset cursor also renders targets located at the bottom edge of the display unreachable. We propose Shift, a technique designed to avoid these drawbacks. Shift works like this. When the user touches the screen, Shift creates a callout in a non-occluded location showing a copy of the occluded area. We call this step escalation. The user guides the pointer into the target by dragging or rolling their finger and then selects the target by lifting. There is a timeout between screen contact and escalation. The timeout duration varies according to the size of the targets under the finger. For larger targets, the timeout is long and users can acquire the target without escalation resulting in the same performance as an unmodified touchscreen. Compared to offset cursor, Shift offers three benefits. First, you just click on the actual target. This avoids the need to estimate offsets and is consistent with the regular touchscreen interaction model which users expect. Second, the user's targeting process is not affected by the callout position. The callout location may be placed such that all portions on the display are reachable, including extreme edges. And third, Shift escalates only when necessary. For larger targets, shift operation is therefore identical to unmodified touchscreen use. We conducted a controlled experiment comparing shift with offset cursor and standard touchscreen interaction. During the study, participants repeatedly acquired targets of different sizes with their fingertips and fingernails. These are the selection times for touchscreen, offset cursor, and shift in the fingernail condition. We see different effects depending on the size of the target. For small targets, touchscreen had very high error rates, making it unreliable. To achieve the desired error rates for small targets, both shift and offset cursor require additional task time. For large targets, however, shift and offset cursor behave differently. While offsetting the cursor continues to impact task time, the task times of the shift condition are not affected. Since shift users do not escalate for the large target sizes, Shift here behaves like a regular unaltered touchscreen. As a result, task times with shift approximates the task time of the touchscreen condition. The fingertip conditions show the same trend but with a different transition point. The reduced accuracy of the fingertip required participants to also escalate for targets sized 18 and 24, while participants did not escalate for these sizes in the fingernail condition. The smallest targets in our user study measured 6x6 six six pixels. But in some specialized applications, users may need accuracy beyond that. For this, we created an enhanced version that combines shift with zooming and increased control display ratio in order to allow the acquisition of even pixel sized targets. We also adapted our C-sharp .NET based prototype to other devices that support touch input. And to aid in rapid prototyping and testing, our prototype includes a range of configuration settings.